Hey, yo, what's good, everybody? Melodic Mike, aka Mike Ty, coming back at you. Check this out. I'm gonna jump right into it. I got a short amount of time. Um, one of my friends actually replied to um, the post in my last my last video about the 60 to 90 day rule and said, "Hey, man, like you you're trying to help the ladies out. Why don't you throw something else from a guy's perspective?" And um, he gave me a question. I thought it was actually kind of ingenious. So I'm gonna go ahead and state it out here. You guys, let me know what you guys think. Give me a lot of feedback on this one. It's actually kind of it's actually kind of cool to put out there. So here we go. For all you ladies and gents in the dating scene, what pushes men away during the dating phase? So you know, not just the first, but like throughout the dating scene that you're going on right now. You know, all the different dates you're going on, the awkwardness and stuff like that. Uh, for you women, here are just my personal opinions. Um, five things that may push a guy away or just, you know, kind of just ugh, make us feel kind of like, all right, she's not the one. All right, so in no particular order, I'm just going to throw it out there. Number one, smothering. Constantly calling, texting us, um, you know, like always needing attention. Hey, when you're in the dating time, dating phase, Give me some time to miss you, you know, give, give me some air to breathe. Like if I, you text me once during the day, cool, we talk later at night, that's awesome. But if you constantly have to communicate with me, text me, and always need to be on the phone with me and stuff like that, and we're just dating, it's a little bit too much attention. You could be pushing a lot of guys away with that. So ladies, know the fact when to pull away, when to give us a little bit so we come after you. You know what I mean? It's like, the, it, it's the game. You know, and that's going to be a whole nother episode. I'll talk about the game, but you have to give us something to, to strive for. You know, if we know that you're constantly there, it gets kind of annoying. All right. Um, number two, um, if the lady doesn't take initiative once in a while, you know, hey, ladies, you know, the guy's going to ask you out if he's interested. Now, something cute to do on the side, do plan a date for us for, you know, like plan a get together where we'll go out and this is all you, you'll surprise, be spontaneous, or do something. But plan a date, do something nice, and just make us feel as though, you know, you want to be with us. Just as much as we're going to try to go out there and, you know, bring you the world, you know, do the same for us. Make us feel special, all right? Number three, uh, what pushes, what may push men away during the dating phase, ladies? If you don't show any signs of affection, as much as you want us to embrace you and hug you and kiss you, Hey, you know, we, we want to feel appreciated too. So if you don't hug, kiss, um, I know this is maybe elementary school, but playfully fighting, you know, slapping, pushing, whatever, joking around, it's all in fun. And that stuff just brings the best out of people. You know, like you're happy, you're joyous, you know, you can joke around, you can shove each other, whatever. As long as it's in fair game, it's fun. Um, it shows some sort of, of affection. And, and on top of that, compliment compliment us you know as much as you guys want to feel great we say oh you look great tonight you know um your dress looks good your hair is beautiful you look just absolutely phenomenal hey every so often you can tell a guy like hey you look really handsome tonight goes a long ways you know hey, we don't expect it but it's nice to hear you know you, you ladies know how it is when a guy compliments you every so often feels good right so do that for the guy too um let's see number four Constantly complaining over little things now. For instance, uh, when things don't go right, um, you know, for like, let's say we go out to dinner and they mess up our order and you start complaining about it. All right, cool. But then you start complaining about little things like, oh, the knife, the silverware, and things just add up and you're just complaining. Or if you're the type to be nagging all the time and constantly complaining about that stuff, you know, we're still dating. I don't want to see that side of you. Honestly, it's hard to say, but. It, it's bad, you know, we want to see you in a positive light, like, hey, this girl's bomb, you know, like, she's always positive, she's always smiling, she enjoys everything, she's not going to let the little things get to us, or get to her, um, so keep that in mind, ladies, don't constantly complain about stuff, especially when you're trying to impress the guy, all right, and my fifth, and f fifth thing that I could think of off the top of my head, what pushes men away during the dating phase, ladies, we take you out to eat, go out to dinner, eat. That's why we're taking you out. You know what I mean? Like, there's 
there's no point for us to take you out and you're just going to sit there and no, I'm not really hungry or whatnot. There's a reason why we ask you if you're hungry, where do you want to go eat? And you, you know, we go somewhere. And then, you know, you order a salad and then I order something and all of a sudden you start picking off my plate. Dude, why? Eat. You know, we're going to spend the money. We're going to take you out. Enjoy the food. Don't be scared. Don't be, oh my God, I don't, I want to impress them. I can't eat a lot on the first date. Eat. I'm not saying gorge and order half the menu, but you know, enjoy yourself. You know, we're, 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 we're going to have, we're going to have a good time eating. I don't want to take you out and you know, not going to eat anything. And if you want to be cute, you know, I thought about this. If you want to be cute and you know, like right now there's a recession, and everybody's having a hard time with money and everything. It would be cute if you offered to, hey, you know, I, I know th times are rough right now. Uh, why don't we split something? You know, why don't we just order a small appetizer, a main course, you know, maybe dessert. We'll split something. Um, that's a cute gesture. So, ladies, think about that. That's my five things that may push men away uh, during the dating phase. Let me know. Comment. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, email me, melodicmike at gmail.com. Comment here. Subscribe. Um, I love the feedback that I'm getting. It's awesome. I want to touch base on the much love from Melodic Mike. Got this from one of my friends. Uh, she sent me this person I should check out, and I did. Check this out. This guy's a soul. I, I consider him a soul music extraordinaire. Um, he hails from the, ne uh, the Netherlands. And all his info is going to be on the sidebar. So, you know, look over there, all the links or whatnot. Um, he goes by the name of Ertu Edmundo. All right. A I R T O, and then Edmundo is E D M U N D O. Check this guy out on YouTube. Dude, guy is great. Great soul artist. Like, I'm not even going to say anymore. He's just phenomenal. I, I thought he was a great artist. I wanted to give him mad love. Um, shout outs to Ertu. Um, I hope that I'm pronouncing that correctly. If not, please correct me. Uh, but on that note, Big things happening, holiday season's here. Um, I'm excited. Um, check out my other YouTube channel with my, my co-host MJ at youtube.com slash MTMJTV. Um, we're doing big things over there. We've been having fun with that too. So come back and forth and stay tuned. A lot more to come, right? Stay blessed, stay positive, and I'll be, I'll be coming back soon with another video. All right, peace.